mental cultivation is uh, understanding and learning the concept through the poem poetry and uh, many theories also are important parts of ancient training and here is some of them to demonstrate some of the folk style applications as in um, different uh, resistance levels that's right one what you saw right here it's the nature of a tonsil that would parry a direct attack to the chest where Fuxiao uses to counter the tonsil with no hesitation as you see um, the Fuxiao depends on the strength or resistance how the your know, opponent's tonsil would direct you as how strong how strong he trying to deflect your folks out you would apply it differently in attacks as you see here um, if your opponent uses a lot of string then you the folks out will turn into a slipping hand and tap under it however if the folks out if the tonsil is not strong and big movement then the Fuxa will attack from the surface. And here, if your opponent applies with the other hand, you would naturally turn into a lobster. And a lobster should offset the opponent's balance and attack at the same time. Here's a double trap. Um, and as your opponent uses Bong Sao to deflect that, and you, you use a Kao Sao, a hooking hand, and then turn into a flopping wing as the opponent use his right hand a hook. Unlike most um, people uh, misunderstand it and uh, use um, a tonsil dissolving a hook and it's not very functional. And, and as you see here, um, the flopping wing is one of the earlier um, crane movement or crane techniques that we had invented. Much of it is uh, lost um, in the process of uh, many generations. And uh, here, Master Sum, I'll show you again. This is a flopping wing, what he just did.